Alexa, ground control. Ground control started. Options, party mode. Lights on, lights off. Party mode. Party mode is on. Alexa, start Spotify. Resuming Spotify. Hey internet, this is Colin Warren, and in this video, I'd like to show you, finally, after eight months, uh, the final results of combining Alexa with Raspberry Pi to make a home automated uh, light switch that will turn on and off any appliance that plugs into an outlet. Uh, in addition, it has a little special trick uh, I'll show off to you there. And don't, you're not supposed to work yet. So, first off, so I'll show you a little bit of the setup and I'll show you what it does. So we have here uh, eight outlets. You can plug up to eight different lights here. I just have three plugged in right now because this is all I can find around the house to demonstrate. Uh, it works for all eight. So again, uh, all eight plugged in. <laughs> the guts of the whole thing. It's just a mess. I wouldn't look too closely. Uh, we've got a Raspberry Pi over here uh, being controlled by a solid state relay board. I think that's the technical, I don't know, it's some sort of relay board, forget if it's solid state. Uh, but I got one that clicked, and this is the one that doesn't click as loud. Uh, so these guys are all hooked into these, and the Pi is running uh, Light Show Pi, uh, the, at least a library installed, which uh, will uh, show off the little hidden uh, Easter egg I've included uh, in this whole system. Uh, in addition, I've written some custom scripts to turn off and on the lights. So... Um, there's a button down here where, if worst case, if I'm not connected to the internet or Alexa's acting up, I just hit it. Uh, but for today, because I spent way too much time working on this, I figure I'll show you uh, the home automated voice automated part. So first, I'm going to turn off the lights for maximum effect. Alexa, ground control. Ground control started. Options, party mode. Lights on, lights off. Party mode. Party mode is on. Alexa, start Spotify. Resuming Spotify. Boom, light show. Again, this system works for any eight lights. You can plug in LEDs, uh, these things, what have you. Uh, just obviously make sure you don't go over your voltage, amperage, <laughs> what have you. Uh, so the second setting, Alexa, ground control. Ground control started. Options, party mode, lights on, lights off. Lights on. Lights on. Not all the lights are just steady. Alexa, stop Spotify. So now I can actually talk without having to yell at the music. Yep, now I see all the lights are on. Uh, so it's just running like normal. Pretty simple. And now if I go Alexa, ground control. Or not. Alexa, ground control. Ground control started. Options, party mode. Lights on, lights off. Lights off. Lights off. Give it a few seconds. Boom, now they are all off. So, I'm turn back on the lights so you can see me again. That's the whole uh, Alexa control, the Raspberry Pi system. Okay, you can shut up, Alexa, stop. <laughs> I'm just going to turn you off for now, turn the whole system off. Uh, so yeah, that's the whole system. Again, uh, just using a little bit of Alexa skills, uh, at least on the Python side of things, using a combination of ngrok uh, to set up a server, uh, so all the different client requests and everything are being sent up through the ngrok server, being fed into uh, the Raspberry Pi that's connected to Wi-Fi. 
and just show it off here. And then once the Raspberry Pi gets a request, then it runs uh, some built-in scripts. So either, okay, if I say light show on, uh, it runs the light show script, light show, or I say lights on, runs the lights on, lights off, runs the lights off script. So again, uh, this is the light show, um, home automated, um, Alexa automated light uh, system. You know, again, plug in eight outlets, eight different things. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, We'll see what the next project is, but this took eight months, 300 hours of sheer perseverance. Uh, I have to give a shout out to I think, the Seattle Pie Charm community, or puppy community. Uh, definitely the Raspberry Pi subreddit for saving my ass so many times, the Python subreddit, uh, random stagers on Stack Overflow. And yeah, I think that pretty much is a pretty comprehensive list of all the people who were able to help me make this because you know I've only been programming for eight or nine months. Uh, Literally no idea how to do this. So it was just a lot of Googling and trying a zillion ideas until one worked. So with that, I think I've rambled long enough. Catch you guys later and hopefully you enjoyed and I guess I'll show you, shoot any videos of this as I'll be installing it in my dorm uh, with some LDs. So that should be pretty cool.